Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time! Royal Caribbean is now having a new policy for who? Casino winners. So what's the new policy? They're going to tax you? No. So this is for the casino winners that win a free cruise. So in order to actually get that free cruise, they want you to put down a $200 deposit because they were having multiple cruises that were free and were booked. And guess what? They were no show. And they didn't have to pay no penalty. So this is like a penalty. So you got to pay a $200 deposit because they want to make some money if you're not there. And if you don't show up, it's already too late to give that room away because right then and there, they're losing a lot of money. Not the cost of the, the room. That's not the money they're worried about. This is what they're worried about. The money of you coming onto the cruise ship and losing your casino money, which is gambling, right? Two, you going around having drinks, shopping, and all those extra stuff. That's the money that they're losing. And this is going to go into effect on September 5th, 2024. So it's going to go in effect within, I think, like two weeks from now. From a customer standpoint, we don't understand why you would do this. Me, personally, just make them pay the poor taxes and fees. That's it. That's what you should just have them do is pay the poor taxes and fees, and that's it. But now you want to add the two hundred dollars, and you know that's actually a deposit. I'm not hearing that you're going to get reimbursed the two hundred dollars. So what's going to happen is that you're actually paying for a free cruise. So technically, the cruise is no longer free. So a young adult posted on Reddit about something that his parents did to him. And after you hear this story, you are going to be sick to your head. How could some parents do this to their own child? So what happened was these two parents decided to go on vacation, right? But they never go on vacation. They can never afford a vacation. So now the son is like, I don't know how that happened, how they were able to even go on vacation. And the vacation was a cruise. They didn't just go on one cruise. They went on two cruises. So now the son gets a letter in the mail from a collection agency saying that he owes over $10,000 for two cruises, but he never went on a cruise and he never took out even a credit card. But after he did his own investigation and eventually he confronted his parents, eventually at first they were saying, no, they, this never happened. It's a probably a misprint or something like that. Now what happened was, eventually, they confessed to it, and now the parents are telling them, oh, file for bankruptcy, right? So that this all goes away. But before you file for bankruptcy, why don't you take out a couple more credit cards to make it go up even higher, so that they could go on more cruises? I'm not even joking when I saw this. I mean, this was uh, actually posted on Reddit, right? But at this point, that, that's the end of that part of the story. I mean, me personally, I don't know what he should do. Should he call the cops? I mean, it is your parents, but you also have to put into a fact that these parents took out a credit card under your name. So they committed a crime, which is credit card fraud. They stole his identity. So, I mean, at that point, at that age, you know, Maybe he needs them in order to have a roof over his head also. So this is a lot of things go into effect when a story like this comes out. So we all say first, he's like, oh, call the cops, call this, call the police, right? But maybe eventually he will call the police or maybe he'll get a lawyer and maybe there's a way they could make sure that all this is pinned on his parents and taken off of his identity. But me personally, first of all, these parents are very selfish, and I don't know how you could do this to your own child. You don't want them to be in debt, right? You'd rather have the debt yourself over your own child. I don't know how a parent, and obviously there was two parents here, you could do this to your own child. 
I mean, you two are not fit to be parents. On August 16, 2024, on the MSC Seashore, comedian Robert L. Hines throwing his already set at around 11.30 p.m., a fight broke out between two men. But this is not the story that got the headline. The headline is what happened next. What happened next is he started to joke about the fight, and then a woman from the audience went onto the stage to confront him. But because he just poured fuel onto a fire because a fight broke out, so tensions are, might be a little high, even with some people in the audience who are not even part of that fight, she probably got very friendly. I do not have the part where he jokes about with the fight, but I have the part of what happens between him and her, which I am going to show you a video in about a minute. And this part gets a little out of hand. And a lot of things that he said was uncalled for. I understand you're there as a comedian, but also you got to show some respect to the people in the audience. These people are the reason why you are on this cruise ship. And also in the video, you're going to see she was being escorted out of the comedy show by the cruise director, and he just kept yapping his mouth, yapping his mouth, starting saying about money and all this other stuff. Obviously, she was intoxicated, but he was in the wrong. And now, here is a video of this incident. <laughs> you better take your ass back the fuck on where you come from. I'm not gonna do shit to you. I'm gonna keep getting my money. They're paying me to be here. You paid to be here. I'm gonna stop talking to you because he's trying to get you to leave. <laughs> Why are you angry with me? I don't even see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We'll see you. We'll see you. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Do, 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 do. And now, because of this incident, two things happened. The woman was met by authorities at the next port. Now, they didn't say if she was arrested, if something's going to happen. More than likely, she was met by authorities, and you can just assume they threw her off the cruise, right? That's one. And two, the comedian was suspended. And why was he suspended is because MSC says that he should have waited until she left the theater and then started to make his jokes about her. That's what he should have did, and that's what they believe that should have happened. And now he's also suspended indefinitely. 
Now, I don't know how that all works out because they also have contracts. So if you get suspended, is he getting paid? I mean, sometimes you, they just get contracts just for like that cruise or sometimes it's for multiple cruises. So I do not know anything about his contract. Well, thank you for watching the show today. Please do not forget Wednesday, 8 p.m. across the waves. Where are we traveling to? Colombia. So please tune in if you want to know about the port in Colombia. And until next time, everybody, safe travels.